Unlocking old school RuneScape one tile at a time, but starting on the Isle of Souls, the most unused and desolate place in all of Gilnor. Probably. Unlocking tiles of XP, quests, achievement diaries, combat achievements, clue scrolls, and collection log slots. You name it. Oh, and did I mention the XP scales? Join me on this journey of mental deterioration and addiction, of unlocking one tile at a time. Hello all and welcome to episode 3. Uh, as you can see where we left off, we've got 50 tiles unlocked, uh, we're on our way to the camp, and to be honest, I'm going to just have a day of AFK training, I'm just going to unlock some tiles, hopefully get enough to the camp, and to not bore you with all that, and do a whole bunch of woodcutting fire making again, I'm probably just going to take some screenshots and do a little levelling montage before that. So, this video we're going to make a ton of progress. Because we're going to be starting with that leveling montage and we're going to get a load of tiles unlocked in the first few minutes before we even begin. Uh, I guess that'll be the best route to take for this just because I want to have a day of AFK and chill. Which is always a fun thing. Before we get to that, I'd just like to say thanks for the support on the first two parts. Uh, again, far more views and subscribers than I ever anticipated, so hopefully it's just up and up from here. Let's begin. And here we are, a few hours of content into a few seconds. So as you can see, we're about to get tile 40. That's right, 40. I've been AFKing for quite a while today. And there it is. I'm just going to burn these two logs as well, just because why not? They're there. So now I've got 40 tiles. Let's run, run, run. Hopefully not waste any. These rabbits, I swear I will kill you before I get off this island. So, get to early 40. I'm not even sure if 40 is enough, by the way. I'm just guessing. 40 just seemed like a good number to end it on. So, straight up. Jeez. Is, am I going to make it? It's quite a while away still. If we can get to the camp with this, I'm happy. Okay, okay. 28 left. It's just there. So, run across a bit. Okay, can we get around this tree? Probably not, right? Oh, it uses two. Right, but I'm here. Eleven tiles. One, two, three, four, five is the bird snare. I can finally catch birds and train hunter, but obviously I've got to get to the birds first, so I'll drop it for now. One, two, three, four. You've got to actually go onto the knife tile, okay. So, that's four for the knife, and we can now do fletching. Which is huge, because obviously all I've been able to do so far is woodcutting and fire making, and obviously after that level up montage that you saw, 43 fire making, 39 woodcutting. This has taken quite a while to be honest. Um, so now I'm here, there's a few options. Uh, and I'm going to have to... So now I'm here, there's a few options. And for starters... As I explain the rules, well not the rules, but as I explain what I'm going to be doing now that I'm in the camp, as you can see, there's a rat here, and this won't run away. So I actually have a way to train. Melee stats. Yeah, it's only 8 XP a kill, but it exists, it's there, and its spawn point seems to be here. So, I can just sit here and kick a rat for days, and then hopefully, I might be able to kill rabbits. But, for now, as I'm doing this, I'll explain why the camp's good, what I'm going to be doing next, and uh, then we'll get back to grinding. And we're finally here, the camp. This camp is huge. Well, not literally, but figuratively speaking. And I'm not exaggerating here, we've got a knife and bird snares, and we've got a rat. We've got a way to train combat without the rabbits, which is huge. These items can make the entire island come together. Although it'll be slower XP for now, I think I'll dedicate a lot of this account towards fletching arrow shafts from normal logs instead of fire making them. Here's why. As I said in the first video, hunter birds are on the island. This includes crimson swifts, however investigating the island there are also copper longtails, which are available at level 900. Again, a low level hunter target, however even though the difference between crimson swifts and copper longtails is only 8 levels, their XP is almost double. Crimson swifts have 34 XP a catch, whilst copper longtails are 61.2 XP a catch which is a big difference when you're catching hundreds. 
Now, I've realised why I've not really discussed why I believe birds are hugely beneficial for this account. I mean, I did a little bit when discussing implings in the first episode, but I barely touched the surface. Firstly, all of the drops give experience. Let's take a look at the drop table. As you can see, they drop bones, raw bird meat, and feathers. Now, although coloured feathers from these birds cannot be used for fly fishing, they can be used to make headless arrows. Bones can be buried for prayer XP, and then we've got the raw bird meat, another chance at food. I am starving, I've been here for days. So let's put all that into numbers. Catching a Crimson Swift grants 34 hunter experience. Burying the bones results in 4.5 prayer experience. Cooking the raw bird meat gives 62 cooking experience. 62! That's like the highest XP out of anything on the island that I can do so far. Burning a log is only 40. And also, using the feathers grants 5 to 10 fletching experience depending on the amount of feathers obtained from the bird. This means that each Crimson Swift catch is effectively 105 to 110 experience per catch. At level 9, we unlock the Copper Longtails, which have basically the same drops, however the base hunter experience gained for catching them is 61.2, meaning they're effectively 132 to 137 experience a catch, which is a lot more. Now, this is great. I've explored the island, come up with a plan to make use of its features, and I'm well on my way to getting the tiles to get off the island and explore the world. However, there's one problem. Raw bird meat. It requires 11 cooking, and without raw bird meat this method will be far far less experienced than our compared to woodcutting or fire making. In fact, even with the meat it might be less, I'm not sure yet. Meaning for this to be worth it, I really really need the meat. Without it, it's about half the experience, uh, even less, like Crimson Swifts go from 105 experience a catch to like 40, which is a, a big difference. As we know from my previous episodes, the only way for me to gain cooking experience, other than random events, is rabbits. Last episode made the discovery they're not so easy to kill as they run away once they take around 2 hit points of damage, but for this to work, we're going to have to kill them one way or another. And that's where the rat comes in. So, now we've got a way to train combat. Hopefully, we can use this rat to train high enough that we can two hit rabbits, meaning we might be able to kill them easier. The other option is to tile trap them like discussed previously, which is going to use a few tiles, but if it's possible, it's there. And although it would have been annoying to train combat experience on rabbits in using a tile trap, because it probably would have been quite hard to constantly get them into the position and attack them so it would have been slower, just getting to 11 cooking using that method shouldn't be an issue at all. So, I think we can do this. But, because of this knowledge, before I even start fletching or make my way towards the birds or anything like that, I have to solve the 11 cooking issue. So, for now, let's kill some rats to get some cooking XP. I have never thought I'd utter those words. Oh, as I'm grinding I've got my first genie. This feels good. What do I even put this lamp in? I think I'm going to save this for now and we'll figure out what to do with it later because it could be worth for a little boost in Hunter but I highly doubt it. Uh, I, mm, I'm really not sure what to use this in. I guess I'll figure it out later. I'll keep it there for now. Shouldn't be too detrimental. To strength, the first of hopefully many. Ah crap, it moved. So... I've kind of wasted a tile here, but I imagine that's going to happen at some point, so it's not the end of the world. At least I had two available tiles to actually use it. No, it ran off. Oh no, how far is its wonder range? Please come back, there we go. No, it's a tree! Uh, I don't want to use this last tile, come on, come on! Don't do this to me. I'm getting rabbit PTSD all over again. Three strengths. It's weird that it's took all this time to get from there to here when I was right next to it the entire time. So weird to think about. Look at them tiles. Just gonna hit four strength here. And there's a magpie taunting me again. There it is. And that's five strength. As you can see, started hitting twos. So that's a good sign. Here's a level I completely forgot about for some reason. Just got a hit points level. 11. Uh, also 6 strength at the minute, I will update you when I am 10? Yeah, 10 sounds good. And here we are. 30 minutes later, we're about to hit 10 strength. Ready? Always does this whenever I want to record something. And there we go. 10 strength. So, can now use war armor. It's probably not going to get one of them for a while. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go to 10 attack as well, just to make sure that I can actually hit the rabbits a little bit better, and then I'm gonna go see if I can actually do something to them. Um, but I might have to come back and unlock some more tiles to actually create that tile trap, uh, so we'll have to see. But yeah, let's start training attack, and I'll get back to you when I'm 10 attack. Closing in on 10 attack. Um, I did just run some max hit calcs using a calculator online. I'm not sure how accurate it is, I'm assuming it's accurate. And apparently I don't get a new max hit until 14 strength, so I can still only hit twos. Rabbits have five health, I believe. So for me to hit three on kick, I need 14 strength. So I'm probably gonna keep hitting these rats after 10 attack, which is coming in now. Wait, wait, wait. Now. <laughs> Now, there we go, 10 attack. So I think until I can hit threes, I'm gonna stay here, cause that should increase the odds of me killing the rabbits by quite a lot. For some reason I've got some extra knives, I'll drop those as well. I think I keep clicking the rat here and clicking the knife by accident, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, gonna sit here for 14 strength, which is probably another half an hour, so let's have some fun. And this is 14 strength. Jeez, that took a while. So, these are my current stats. 10 attack, 14 strength. I got 14 hit points as well. Uh, 11 combat. We're moving up in the world. But, now, I've got 5 tiles saved up from that. Because I did get quite a few thousand XP from training the attack and strength. So now what I can do is I can go see if I can kill a rabbit. I have 5 tiles to use to corner trap it. And... I think I can do it. Just got to carefully navigate all the way back on this annoying path. Right, so I think if we're killing it here... No, 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 one up, one up. Wait, I'm not sure. Ooh, crap. There's a rabbit there. I could corner trap there, look. If it runs back, I'll try it. But the other option is to do it down here, which also may be good, because I think there's more rabbits. But this is the um the moment of truth. Because there is a rabbit there I could hit down, maybe. God, I'm really not sure what to do. I knew this was going to be annoying, but doing it just for 11 cooking, I think I can manage. I guess we just start by hitting a rabbit and see where it runs. I think that's a good starting point. We just need a rabbit. Oh, wait. Right, there we go, there we go. So, let's see where... Oh, I can hit threes. Wait. Oh, oh, I used a tile. I've used one tile. Oops. I mean, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I've got a raw rabbit. Which means I can kill them. They do run, so I've got to be careful with the tile usage, but even wasting that tile, it did get me a rabbit. I'm not sure how many I need for 11 cooking. That's not something that I've looked at. But we can definitely do it. Which is awesome. Wait. You'll do. You will do. I think that just traps it, right? Wait, come here. Oh, nope. Ooh, it's a trap though, it's a trap. So I've got two tiles left. Right, I think I can do this, I can do this. I can either camp this one, and I'm obviously gonna have to walk on and waste a tile. I don't trust the one down here, I've not got enough tiles. I need this rabbit to keep coming this way. But we can do it. So, while I've still got the recorder up, let's go cut a tree. And let's see how much XP we get. Because it's quite a lot. Cooking's always quite a lot. 30. Ooh. It's weird that you get... It's not a burnt rabbit. That is... You know, I've never cooked a rabbit in Windscape before. That is so weird. You get a cooked rabbit and then there's no burnt rabbit, it's just burnt meat. <laughs> That's so weird. But we can do it. We have food. We have cooked rabbit. We can eat it. We need pff, level 11, which is 1338. We're currently at 100. So we need 1258. So we need to kill about 42 rabbits. 42. I think we can do that. It's just going to take quite a while. So, for some reason, sometimes they don't run away. So maybe it's not 2 HP, because I've literally just killed one here without it running at all, and I was hitting 1s on it. Which is really weird. Let's try it with this one. 
So if I hit and just start walking up here, it comes after me. I've got one there too. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I've just wasted all my tiles. Crap. Oh, that. No one saw that. I'm letting myself off with that one because of how stupid these rabbits are. Again, oh, right, I'm not going to be able to do this. I need to go get some more tiles. I'm not going to kill this rabbit because I walked on a tile that I shouldn't have to lure it there. So I am going to leave that rabbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get five more tiles, maybe? I just need, I, I need a safety net because I can't keep running off tiles. So I'm leaving that rabbit. It can survive. Uh, it, got, it got lucky that I had no tiles left, I swear. Every element of my being wanted to kill that rabbit then. But... What can we do? So I'm going to sit around. Uh, I guess this is where I start fletching. Because I do want to build up some arrow shafts. It's going to be slower XP. But I'm going to get five tiles from chopping logs and fletching them. And we will see how that goes. You're probably getting sick of seeing these trees by now. But just about to hit 40 wood cutting. Which I thought was worth noting. Because 40 is huge. Like that means. What? I've chopped nearly 1,500 logs. Which is absolutely mental to be honest. Didn't think I'd be here for 1500 logs. These four trees I've probably cut. Pfft, I don't know. 80 times each. Maybe more, who knows. In fact, way more than 80. What am I on about? Jeez, I've probably cut them like 300 times each. Uh, as you can see, arrow shafts are stacking up nicely. Nearly got 1500. Probably I've got 1500 if I cut these. Uh, I've not been uh, I've not been hopping worlds because I've just been able to keep doing this and by the time I get back to the top they've respawned again. Uh, currently, five fletching. It's really slow. It's only five XP a log, but that's what I get. And uh, I think at four tiles we'll try some more rabbits because again this is just uh, here for the interim. I'm just kind of fletching to grab some tiles to make sure that I don't make them mistakes like earlier of hopping off the tile. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. And here is tile number four. So, 1,695 arrow shafts. Um, and now we're gonna try and kill some rabbits again. Right, let's try hitting some rabbits. So it's obviously gonna run. If I bring it up here first, it should run to this corner trap. Oh, it's running all right. What is going on? Oh, I went out of its aggro range. This is perfect. So I'm going to try getting a full inventory of rabbits, because at 30 XP each, that's got to get me a decent cooking, even if I burn a few. And obviously I get the prayer XP too. So, I'll keep at this for a little bit, and I'll keep you updated in a sec. No doubt I'm going to make a mistake, and I'm going to hit a tile. Um, and it is kind of annoying, because most of them are in the area down here, and I've got to wait for them to be over here, or on the path like this, because I can just bait them backwards. Hitting a two on it straight away though isn't really ideal. Let's see what this does. Oh, there we go. Nice, I'm mastering this. This is it. But again, I, I wouldn't have done it for 10, 15 strength and attack. Because compared to the rat, <laughs> this is just so hard. Oh, one ran as I killed it and it's gone on this tile. I think because I've got four tiles, I'm just going to unlock it. That's what these tiles were for. And I guess it gives me a little bit of leeway. So if there's another rabbit close by, I can actually use this tile now. So I don't think it's the end of the world. And it's done it again down here. Every time that I end up trying to bloody kill one, the last tick it runs away. But because I've got two tiles, this could open up this corner. Because uh, this is another corner trap. It's a miracle. I got two trapped at once. Ah, oh, again, on the last tick. I don't know if I want to waste it for this or not, because then I'll lose the ability to get this corner trap. Oh, I really want 11 cooking. Oh, this hurts. I have noticed that if you de-aggro them, I'm not attacking this, because whenever I go to attack something over here, it always runs off, I'm telling you. Like with this tile. Um, But yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you hit them and they run away, after a, a few seconds, I'd call it, um, they actually run back and then you can hit them again and they've already got the health lost. So all I'm doing now is just hit, click floor, turn auto retaliate off. And if they run back, they just die because they're already low on health. Well, I've just been talking to myself for three minutes because I forgot to hit record, which is always fun. 
Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll get better at that in the long run. So we've just finished our first inventory of rabbits. As you can see, I've burnt quite a lot of them. It got me 330 XP, I think. So I'm at 430, and we need uh, 1,358 to hit level 11. So we've probably got another three inventories to go. It took me about 20 minutes playtime to actually get this inventory. Uh, so it's probably going to take me about another hour to 11 cooking, maybe, if I keep this burn rate. Uh, at level 11 cooking, obviously I can cook the raw bird meat, which is going to be amazing as long as I don't burn as many as this, which I probably will. Uh, but before that, obviously we have to actually get to the birds. Now, the birds are at the bottom of the island down here. You can see where it says Crimson Swift. Uh, and if you look at the path we have to go down, it's a long way. Like, we've started up here and we got to the camp and that took 97 tiles. Or maybe a little bit less because of the mistakes made with the rabbits. And it's 97,000 XP, it's a, it's a lot. And this loop, honestly, from like around here because you can't see my mouse. Honestly, it doesn't seem that big compared to the gap to go down here for the Crimson Swifts. And that's harsh. I'm estimating maybe 150, 200 tiles, which is going to be a lot of experience. So I'm hoping I can get quite a lot of that done at work, <laughs> to be honest. I work from home and uh, sometimes when it's a bit slower if I'm on a call I can do a bit of wood cutting. Obviously I've got to log off a lot of the time for work but there's an option there to actually get something done which is nice. Uh, so before that I'm going to get 11 cooking this episode by doing some more rabbits. I'm going to drop all this food because they don't hit me, I don't need it. The burnt meat obviously has no, no significance to me. Uh, all that's going to be dropped. I still don't understand why cooked rabbit has got its own thing instead of cooked meat and it's just burnt meat instead of a burnt rabbit. That's really weird to me, but I guess I just didn't intend to ever put a burnt rabbit in the game. So it's just burnt meat, which is really weird. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to grab 11 cooking and then I'm probably going to end this episode because otherwise it's going to be like a 50, 60 minute episode if I'm getting all the way down to the Crimson Swift because <laughs> that is a long way. And it's going to take a lot of time. So for now I'll get back to slaughtering rabbits because they was avoiding me for so long. In fact, before I do, I forgot I am really hungry. Oh, this feels good. It finally happened. One ran away on the last hit onto this corner. So it's only one, so I only have to use one tile to hit it. But... Obviously, if another one goes there, I can't attack diagonally. It's because it ran to it on the last tick. Um, but obviously, if <laughs> if I have to hit one over there, I'm going to have to unlock one of these two tiles, which isn't fun. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the grind. And this is the last rabbit of the inventory. Uh, also, I saved some bones. Three prayer. Not bad. Let's just bury these... Okay, let's go cut a tree again. This is the part I didn't get on the recording last time because I completely forgot to hit record. So, let's watch me cook some rabbits and get some burnt meat for some reason. I'm really hoping that the success for it scales up really quickly here. I actually got this inventory a little bit quicker than last time, I think, because last time, six cooking, last time I think it took 18 minutes. I think this time it only took like 15, but I did get less to be fair. Come on, keep this six in a row. Oh, this is good. Seven. Seven cooking as well. This is really good. No, lost the streak. Last rabbit of the inventory again. I, uh, if, you've, if you've noticed, I've done this full in about seven, eight minutes. And that's because I found a secret. Well, not a secret, but I found the best way to do this. Wait till it runs off. It should run off on its own. Uh, no, okay, one more hit. Oh, it died. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say, I unlocked this tile here, uh, and they always run into that corner, and it's just a lot easier to kill them, because all you've got to do is get them on this line, and they'll always run into the corner because they hit this tree, which is nice. But yeah, let's get cooking. Oh my days. How have I burnt five? No. Come on, I've got to cook a few more. Eight cooking. How am I burning so many? The higher cooking that I get. Oh my god. Right, I've cooked seven. Hey, okay, okay, nine cooking. Hey, hey squirrel, do you remember me? Do you want a rabbit? Okay, I'll just drop one here for you. 
Make sure you eat it, okay? You've probably never had cooked food. Five prayer, and a full inventory of rabbits. Hopefully this is the last inventory that I've got to cook. Taking votes for how many I'm gonna burn? Probably like 20. <laughs> oh no, it's looking good so far. Ooh, this is looking really good. 10 cooking. One more to go. Oh, this is looking really good. Come on. No, we need three more. Three more out of 10. Or oh, 11, 10 now. One more, we've got it. Come on, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Yes! Okay, 11 cooking. And that's it. We can officially cook raw bird meat, as I just said, and I've skipped it. That means all we've got to do now is actually unlock the birds. <laughs> so, as I'm finishing this inventory off, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's been quite a lot of content in this one because we've gained 52 tiles, more than double. Uh, and hopefully we can just figure out how to get down to the birds. So I'll see you next time on the hunt for the Crimson Swifts.